In the past week, Minnesota has seen an average of 4,725 COVID-19 cases each day. The last time it was that high was exactly one year ago today when the state was coming down from its worst peak of coronavirus cases. With many people being cared for, ICUs all over Minnesota are at 98% capacity. Chris Burns has the story. We've been running full uh, continuously uh, probably for several weeks. 10 beds, 10 patients, seven of which are on ventilators, all 10 unvaccinated at Essentia Health St. Joseph's Medical Center in Brainerd. To help stop the spread of COVID-19 during the holiday season, Governor Tim Walls announced his Celebrate Safe Minnesota campaign. I'm looking forward to holiday celebrations just like a lot of Minnesotans, but I know I have a personal responsibility to do my part to keep those around me safe. I encourage all Minnesotans to do the same. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan also chimed in. We are doing everything we can to celebrate safely by getting tested, getting vaccinated, and getting boosters for our eligible family members. That's how we are showing care for each other this holiday season. I will tell you that there has not been a holiday since the pandemic started that I have not cared for someone who has fallen critically ill and died uh, from catching the virus at a holiday gathering. 50 countries and 16 states have seen at least one case of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron. Dr. Davis says a lot of the information is coming from Africa as they're seeing the most cases. But due to the fact that their average age is 10 years younger than America's and the fact that 60% of their population caught the original strain of COVID-19, it makes it hard to determine what will happen here. I read this morning that there is there is a doubling of cases of Omicron every three days in the UK right now. Um, so we're going to we're going to have a lot of data real quickly, unfortunately, because um, that that's where it's at. But right now, his main concern is the Delta variant. The best way to take pressure off of the ICUs and not catch the virus is to be vaccinated and get your booster shot. I have cared for no one with a complication of the vaccine. I have and, and since the pandemic started, I haven't seen it or heard of it. Certainly people can feel crappy for a few days, uh, but I have cared for no one in the ICU who's had a complication of the vaccine. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.